Hello everyone, my name is Colin Waldman and today I would like to talk to you about my industry presentation. And to start us off, I would like to talk about my dream job. My dream job would to be a lighting designer in the live event industry. And to get here, I need to continue to grow my programming skills, my basic knowledge of color theory and electronics. And throughout my time at Full Sail so far, I've already been given a lot of great opportunities to design lighting for some certain events at Full Sail. And that's because I put in many hours and many days of work with student event crew and going in after hours to work with the staff to learn as much as I can because I'm so driven and dedicated to do what I want to do. And to get to my dream job, I need to go into a great industry for me. And that industry would be a live event industry. And in this live event industry, there's three great aspects of work I could do. Although lighting is like my favorite area of work, I could also do audio and video. And what's great about Full Sail is that I get to learn about all three of those areas. And even if lighting doesn't work out for me, I still have the audio and video and I'll love it. Maybe not just the same, but I'll still love it because it's what I want to do. Live events is what I want to do. And entry level, most people become stagehands or interns somewhere. But I'm really hoping to be something maybe a little bit higher because of all the work I do and all the time I spend. I am someone who is very driven. So if I could be something more than what everyone else expects, hey, there's nothing better than that. And going on to my second career profile, let's talk about the music industry. The music industry. I could become a recording engineer, band videographer, or band tech. And all this is really cool stuff, and this also all correlates with what I want to do as in the uh, live event industry, because it's just the same kind of stuff, just with a different twist and a different atmosphere. Although I may not feel as comfortable, this would be a solid plan B, and I would not be unhappy if I had to go this route. But unlike me going into the live event industry, I would definitely have to start entry level here as like an intern or just a basic stage hand because I would not feel as comfortable. And to me, if I'm not comfortable, I know I don't do as much work um, that is looked as like, wow, that's exceptional, like over the top work. Like I need to get more comfortable in these areas outside of live production. So that's definitely something that I want to work on. And talking about working let's go on to my next career profile and this would be film and television film and television is definitely like a far off plan c that i hope i never have to go to because this would just be like an area that i would work to if like i need the money and this is the only job i could get and here i could be a lighting tech for uh sets i could be a camera operator uh recording engineer or video editing and the reason why i don't really want to work in film and television is just it's not the same as live events like I love the grueling like live events like long hours and like when it's live if you mess up well it's live like I love that I love that adrenaline so if I was to go into film and television I would just want to be like some low start an entry job like I want nothing big like I want to stand in the shadows here and I'm hoping I never have to because I hope I just stay in the live event industry and Speaking about the live event industry, let's talk about some great sweet gigs. Starting off with Warp Drive by Kevin Lyman. Kevin Lyman is a great producer for the live event industry and he mostly focuses on being a producer for concerts. And what I love about Kevin is that he is a position that is way above what I want to do. I just want to be a lighting designer. So it makes me think like if I become a lighting designer, I would still do something more. So that brings me to like a major thing in my life is that when you hit your dream push yourself to create a new dream and that would be my I guess backup dream is when I hit light designer go to my backup and try to become a producer because like what's better than being like the top dog and like making more money like not to sound greedy but I know we all think about that every now and then but obviously I want to spend a lot of time designing lights but one day hey Maybe I'll push myself to do something more. And that's exactly what I would do with um, a producer if I hit my goal, goal one of being a lighting designer. 
And the second sweet gig I would like to talk about is going through a stage with Joe Ruffner. Joe Ruffner was an actor, just like I was. And one day when he didn't get the dream role he wanted in a show, he became the stage manager for that production. And from that day forward, he never turned back. Today, Joe is a professional stage manager. And that is kind of something like what I did. I was also an actor and a vocalist. And my dream was to be like a like hot and heavy vocalists when I grew up but when both of my lungs collapsed last year like I had to switch my dream and that's when I picked Full Sail and I became a lighting um I guess nerd I guess I'm not afraid to say that but I am a lighting nerd now and so now my new dream is to be a lighting designer and Joe really backs up my like successful feeling of knowing like it's okay to change your dream and do it as many times as you want as long as you keep pushing yourself to reach that point but joe also brings up another point when he switches dream he's still working in theater and dream jobs is just as important as dream workplace i could be a lighting designer wherever i want but if i was to be able to be my dream job as a lighting designer in a theater that would be epic because my dream workplace is to work in theater which is also a live event so like that's a triangle of like wow this is a perfect lifestyle and i'm really hoping i get there and this project has really made me realize that i do have many backups and many other open doors waiting for me um so i'd like to thank you all for listening and have a great day